yourself here. No. And now, Suspense brings you Act One of The Fun Master. Too emotionally immature. And besides, you're silly. <laughs> Who said we are emotionally immature? Everybody. Who said? Everybody. Who's everybody? You know, my mother, my sister Alice. You know, they never speak to themselves. It's always everybody. Everybody says this, and everybody says that. Yeah, I know. My mom says, Bob, folks say, she's always folks, and my dad says, Bob, it's common knowledge that he's common knowledge. <laughs> hey, I gotta go home, I promise. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> What do they mean, emotionally immature? You know, they think I'm seeing too much of you. They think we're getting too serious. Oh, that bit. We are really serious about us, aren't we, Bob? Gee, Jenny, you know we are. Our feelings won't change. Why should they? I don't know. Feelings sometimes do change, don't they? No. Uh, not the way we feel. I tell you what. You tell your mother and your sister Alice that they better stop trying to separate us. Emotionally immature and all that jazz. I just can't explain it to them. They absolutely refuse to understand. Well, how would they like it if we ran away? <laughs> you really are flip boy. <laughs>
I'm Charlie, the Fun Master. Uh, Mister, we, we didn't damage anything. <laughs> We didn't know anybody was in here. Uh, man, were well, those mirrors, you sure frightened us. This park is closed. You got no business in the park is closed. You're right, mister, but, well, I don't see the big deal, but you're right, and, well, we're sorry. You got no business here. Uh, aren't you the man that plays all the tricks on the people? Yeah, I remember seeing you, I think. Uh, how you, uh, blow the air that makes a girl's skirts fly up, mister, huh? <laughs> Tell you kids something. Hey, look, mister, you're acting pretty creepy. We want to get out of here. Listen to me. We gotta go home, mister, please. Yeah, let us out of here, mister. Now, look, will you kids listen to me? I'm just trying to tell you something. I'm not gonna be here anymore. They fired me. I had a fall and it slowed me up, so they fired me. I was with Barnum and Bailey before they were born. I worked with Emmett Kelly. I worked with the best of them. I mean, a clown's a clown no matter what. I've been here 18 years. Everybody knows me. I'm Charlie, the fun master. 18 years. I'm the one who brings them in. Well, now it's the last stop. This is the end. Where do I go now? You kids know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we get the picture, mister. They fired you. Oh, yeah. Time to retire, huh? Getting too slow, huh? Now, I'm still in pretty good shape. Of course, I'm a little slow, but there's something I want to show you kids. <laughs> You're going to like this. <laughs> I see. Now, you kids couldn't do that, could you? I get all the laughs. And there's a dance I do that the kids love. Uh, da da da. Dee 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 dee. And I, oh, it was a thing I do the kids love all the time. I always used to finish with this, a big finish, you know. And I'd say to the kiddies, I'd say, watch the hat now. Oh, keep your eye on the hat. And up it goes. And I'd catch it, you know. You know, it's, it's experience, style. <laughs> well, now, is that too slow? Is that time to retire? No, sir, that was just great. Can we go now? I really do have to get home, mister, please. You know, they want to give me the night watchman's job. Well, I couldn't do it, I don't know. I just couldn't do it. I'm no night watchman. I'm Charlie, the fun master. And I told him, I said, if they didn't let me stay here, I was going to do something. Well, I got sore, and they, and they threw me out. And then this morning, you know, it was cold. There was snow on the ground. But there was that smell in the air. And I, I come on down here, and I saw that sign. Open soon. Well, it's just not right. It's just not fair to take a man's whole life and just throw it away like that for, for no reason at all when he's got nothing else to do. Well, is it? I don't mean to hurt nobody. You kids just have to bust it at the wrong time, that's all. 
I know where there's a barrel of powder back there, see? We used to use to load the fireworks. <laughs> you understand? Maybe it'll go up. The whole shebang. Go by, Charlie. Well, nobody cares. You don't care. You just want to get out and call the cops. Well, you're not getting out. We care. Maybe we could help you. Yeah. Well, my father's a lawyer, mister. Uh, he could help you. Well, he knows everybody. I, I tell you what, the minute you let us out of here, I swear I'll go right home and I'll talk to him. No kidding, mister. He's a big lawyer and, well, well, he's done things like this for hundreds of people, hasn't he, Jenny? Bob. It, it, it's the truth, mister. You're lying. Well, why should I lie to you about my father? I, well, I, I tell you what, he'll help you. You just let us go and I promise you he'll help you. Come on, mister, it's a cinch. Why don't you believe me? Suspense and Act Two of The Fun Master. I sure got you into something, didn't I? What do you think he's going to do? Well, I don't know, Jenny. Boy, I wish you hadn't made him so mad. Well, he can't keep us in here forever. Do you think he might do what he... I don't know! Why are you mad at me? I'm not! You are! Well, then why do you keep saying I wish you hadn't made him mad, Bob? As if it were my fault. You didn't want to help him. That was so obvious. That's why he got mad. Did you want to help him? Yes. Why? I, 
was sorry for him. Well, I wasn't. Well, what do you think life's all about? Uh, uh, just going around feeling sorry for every freak in the world? I wouldn't know. Well, when we get out of here, we're going to have a good long talk. It, it won't be necessary. Yeah. I guess it won't. Hear that whistle, it's 10 o'clock. Go and go. Come on, baby, it's time to rock. Go and go. You can go now. Mister, please understand. We're sorry. We didn't mean... You can go now. Kept you here. You're not going to do what you said? No. Are you? Wouldn't help you, Mister. It would just make more trouble. Go on home, kids. Maybe we can help you, Mister. Go home! <laughs> Let's see what you we did, Tessa, there. We didn't touch anything, mister. Honest, we didn't. Just looking around. What are you giving me? Come on. Mister, please take our word for it. We'll give you our names and addresses. We're nice kids, mister. All right, please. come on in. Do you mind? Don't go in there. Why? It's a, it's a man. There's a sick man inside. Yeah, he, he's very upset, mister, and, well, please just don't go in there now. What are you giving me here? Come please, on. mister, just go along with us up. Uh, it's, it's very important, and uh, we don't want anyone to get hurt. Is Charlie in there? Is it Charlie? Bob, do you think he'll hurt the old man? Ha, 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 ha. 
I swear I didn't. Please, mister, listen to me. Mister, I want to help you. I swear I want to help you. Please, listen to me. My, my, my father isn't a lawyer. We're, we're in the hardware business, but I, I, I want to help you. I sincerely want to help you, sir. Please, please. What are you going to do now, mister? What are we going to do, Charlie? Well, Eddie, I guess you got a new watchman. Charlie, the night watchman. Then everything's all right? What are you kids talking about? You see anything wrong around here, Charlie? Okay, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Well, oh, Charlie, get these kids out of here, huh? All right, now beat it, you kids. Don't you come around here when you don't belong. Yeah. I love you. 